Hi, I'm Danielle, and I'm going to help you to embed your Kartra form on your WordPress page. I'll also show you a couple of other ways that you can link between your Kartra site and your WordPress site. You don't need a designer to do this, but even if you have a designer do it for you, your designer doesn't need to know anything about Kartra, and I'll show you why. So we're going to get started here in forms, and I have an opt-in form that I'm going to edit. We're going to go through the setup to get to the last step, which is form design. Typically, your form will say used in a Kartra page or Kartra video. We're going to change that out to be I will embed the form in a third party page. Now, once we do this, the option to launch the form builder is down here. We're going to click on that button. Once we get in here to the form builder, We'll go through the quick tutorial. Now, once we get started, you'll see this is the most basic form that you can add. And here you have whatever you had in your form setup, the form fields. You can edit the button. So we could change this to something else if we wanted to. We can change the button color if we want to. So we can customize all of that. But what will happen is this is the form that will show up on our WordPress site when we embed it into the page. So you also have other options. You have different form types over here on the left. This is the form that we have right now and that's an embedded on the page form. This one is a click to pop button. So it involves two pieces. Up here at the top is a button. You can see that it says register. I can change that to purple if I want to. I can change the button size so that it's bigger. I can change the text in the button. So I can say click here to register. Or I can upload a button and you can see that this is an image that's already uploaded by default, but you can browse your computer files here and upload any button you'd like. So if this button is way too different from the buttons that are on your WordPress site, you can actually just go to your WordPress site and take a snapshot, you know, take a screenshot of one of your WordPress buttons from your builder and you can save that as an image and then upload it here so that the button for this form matches all of the others on your site. Completely customizable in that case. But let's just say we wanted to keep this button here. What would happen is where we embed the form, this button will show. And when someone clicks it, this pop-up would show up. So that's how that one works. The other form type, is a slide out from the side on the page. And the other one here is a slide up from the bottom right on the page. So these are the different types of forms you have. And then once you choose which form you want, you can customize the template. So these are not as customizable as the page builder. You have to kind of work with the formatting that it has, but you can customize these. I'm going to just go back to the embeddable on the page form and I'm just going to keep it to the basic and we're going to save and exit. Once we do that, we're going to save and save and next. And now we have the code that we need. We're going to click on JavaScript and we're just going to copy this one line of code. Now, if you have a designer, all you're going to need to do is send them that one line of code and tell them where on the page you want them to put it. They don't need to know anything about Kartra or be familiar or learn how to use it. So you can work with whichever WordPress designer you usually do. But let's just say that you'd like to do it for yourself. I'm in a page on my WordPress site. I've just clicked on add a new page. I've named it. And here I am in the uh, default 
WordPress builder. I'm going to click on the plus sign to add a new block. And I'm going to choose custom HTML. I'm then going to paste in that one line of code and then preview. And here is that form. You can then size this however you want. You can put it wherever you want on the page. If you use a different builder, how you choose that block might be a little different, but you're looking for the custom code or the HTML block. And then you're going to just paste in that code and you will see the form where you put it. It really is that simple. If we click on preview and we preview this page, in a new tab. You're going to see this is the page on my site and it's got this form on it. And I'll show you in real life on my website, on my contact page, you can see that here I have that form embedded. So that is how to combine your Kartra form and your Kartra lead magnet funnel with your actual website. But the other way to do it is just to link over to your lead magnet opt-in page. So if I go to my about page and I scroll down to the bottom here, I have a WordPress button, learn more about working with Danielle. And in this button, I have put a link to my Kartra opt-in page. So when someone clicks that link from my site, they get brought over here. That's just as easy as taking the link to the page that you want to connect between the two and putting that URL in the button. You can do this from WordPress to Kartra or Kartra to WordPress. Either way, that's how you would connect both of your websites. I hope this was helpful and I will see you on the next tip.